They fix me broke the lid. <laughs> okay, where is up? Where is down? I have no idea. So while I was preparing a video and overclocking my horse stripper, um, now let's see, that's a slight overclock there, blah blah blah. I literally have no idea. Oh, what do subscribe to not miss that video. Anyways, uh, while I was overclocking my GPU, I remembered a thing or two in my past experiences about GPU overclocking. Yeah, most of the time it was something like that. But with a friend's help who I sold my old GTX 1080, I was able to showcase, well, what happens when you go a bit too far on some core clocks. Okay, so the break elites, you write one, eight, zero, in core, enter. And apply. Dun, dun, dun. Magic. Yes. <laughs> many, many magic. <laughs> okay, where is up? Where is down? I have no idea. Whoopsie! Okay, then I'll crash What? What? Okay, take it, take it out. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, uh, that was quick. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, that was... That was quick. Well, I broke Elite Dangerous. And yes, this is what happens to Elite and even a few other games, but in different ways when you, a bright-eyed little Bobby, decide to go a bit too far to get that PCMR juice. Oh god, what kind of analogy was that? Anyways, what you are also seeing right now is a collision model, which works some of the time. Now, of course, I did reach out to developers of Elite Dangerous, the Frontier Developments, and asked why this happened. And the answer I got was pretty much in line with what I suspected it was for the most part. Basically, the planet's surfaces are generated on demand rather than being a model. So in this case, because I had pushed the graphics card core clock a little too far, some of the values this graphics card produces during the generation are, well, wrong. So that's why you see these massive artifacts, as I call them. Frankly, to me, this is just super funny, as it's just simply wacky, though obviously it serves no benefit to me, so in this case it's just a rather interesting way you can test the overclocking stability, as well as just kind of break the game. <laughs> Chucks. 3, 2, 1, boom! Dun, dun, dun. It's fun times! Oh, and this artifacting is only in GTX 10 series cards, as far as I'm aware. Uh, I tried this on my old Radeon HD 6970, and all I got was this. And on my current Horse Ripper build with an RTX 2080 Ti, I didn't get squat, it just goes blank when pushed too far. Yet while playing Ori and the Blind Forest, I got these artifacts on my 2080 Ti, so... Yeah, <laughs> GPU artifacts are pretty interesting. So, there you have it. Hopefully this was informative and interesting. So, share the video, and uh, as I mentioned, I'm making a complete overclocking video for my main PC, so do subscribe and hit that bell thingamajig for that video. As for now, well, hey, if you do tinker around just like myself, and you have seen some interesting artifacts, and you got something to show off, well, do join the Discord and poke me. Uh, I'd love to see some of them. Tagad, ka mēs kamēr gaidām šito testrumentu, tā, nu, rādās, rādās. Tā, šķoks, šķoks. Is all good? Is all fucking good? Yeah, the voila, folks. Aha. Oh, 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 there we go. <laughs> okay, um... The dark the darkness is coming for you, buddy. That's it. No. The game hates you. It's a doom on us out of darkness. Interesting effect. Oh no. Oh no. Where is my game?
Dags. Vad bara liksom pojka med mig den här kappar är just en överklockor i grafikskart. Ja. It's fun times. <laughs> It's many fun times. Ja. Yep. That seems stable. <laughs> oh, is that so? Du kan svara lyssna, du är saurig! Dammit! Nej, det är nog kort. Nej, det är inte fun. Tångs! Och det är så vi har en klockning endeavor än, det är ju så.